guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a new video i'm just in the middle of finishing a video off and finishing one of the cars off and i've just received a text message chris went out about two hours ago his phone rang and i thought i don't even know where he's gone he's just texted me and said rob get in the truck come to this address i've bought something guys i have no idea what he's bought but i know that he has been shopping around for a mark ii escort to put that BDA engine in out the caterham he's just I've said to him what you got and he just said come to this address so I don't know what he's got either let's head there now and have a look and see what Guys, he's bought I've just got here I've just literally parked up and I can hear him in that garage I know Chris don't like being on camera <coughs> excuse me but he did say capture as much of it as you can I can't wait to see what he's got hello hello Right. What you got? Can you guess? <laughs> Mate, I didn't even know where. It's an escort, isn't it? Have a look around the back. Have a look around the back. That ain't a Mark II escort, not like that. No, no, it's not. It's better than Mark II. Imp? Not close. Mark I escort? No, better than Mark one is still. Oh, I think it is. <laughs> well, how long has he been in here? Yeah, I don't know. He's been here a while, though. Chris, how'd you find that? Yeah, I just uh, got a phone call from a friend of my dad's. Said they wanted it gone. So they had been offered uh, for it, and I've, I've come and bettered the offer. And they said, take it. So you own it? Yeah, yeah, it's ours, yeah. What is it? Yeah, you can you tell me? Yeah, do you want to buy half? <laughs> no. What is it? Tell me. I'll show you. Oh, I've never seen one as good as this. Oh, another Viva? Yeah, that's free now. <laughs> yeah, this is the best one though. <laughs> Where, where's the engine? Oh, yeah, it's missing. But I've got a spare engine. Though. Oh, Chris. Have a look under there, Johnny. God, it's not rotten, is it? What's the rest of it like? Well, it seems to be. I mean, boot, boot floor I can't get to because the boot won't open. Oh, you're joking. No, no keys. I've lost the keys. Oh, how are we going to get it out of here? Oh, um, it, well. It's got steering lock on. No, it ain't got steering lock. <laughs> Too old for that. Too old, yeah, yeah. I should have walked around this side, look. Got the cover off. Oh mate, God, I don't like it in here. I'm not a lover of spiders, guys. Look at them webs. They're horrible. Chris, I can't believe you bought another one of them. Wow. Why have you nice bought that? Because it's nice. Well, there's no, no grot in it, is there? It's, you look. Everyone keeps wondering what you're doing without that the old one in the yard. Well, got a load of spares for this one. Let's get it out, get it back to the yard, and have a proper look round it. That's more of that space is I've just had to reverse into. I've reversed into here, run the winch right down the back of the truck, put it into that shackle again, and then gone into the garage. And Chris has said the brakes are stuck on, so we're going to try and pull it out as far as we can, and then he's going to get under there and try and wind the brakes off. That's the plan. Hopefully, it works out. Why well, struggling, wobbling me truck? Skidding. Skidding. Let's ease that off. Don't want to stand there in case that snaps where it's tight. Block of wood under it. Pull there. It's moving. How far out should we come? All the way out. Hold on, let me just try. Yeah, Stuck. Yeah, we'll get it to there. Yeah. Get underneath it and let them off. Genuine farm find. I love it. Well, garage find, yeah. And you didn't really find it because they called you. <laughs> Nasty 
we'll have to wind them off from there and put the truck out on the road because we ain't going to get it in from there anyway. Yeah? Well, as Chris is underneath there winding the brakes off and I just noticed, I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, just there. She, she's a deluxe. Electric windows, remote locking. No, I'm just kidding, but deluxe. Must be the nicest model. I was just looking at it, and if you look, the back of the car is right down low. And I said to Chris, I bet all the bits are in the boot for it. And he said, Cool, that would be nice, but they do sit quite low anyway. So, is that one done? Yeah. We've got one more brake well, to I wind off. I think that's the only one I want. Oh, is it? Um, guys, unfortunately, even though Chris did say to me, bring all the camera gear, I did not bring a tripod. So we're not going to be able to time lapse sticking it on the back of the truck or even filming it, unless I just have the camera in one hand and the button. We'll see how we get on, but I'll let him loosen them brakes off and we get it on the truck. So we're back at head office. 1965 HA Viva. And I can safely say now, Chris is a collector. He still says he's not, but he now has three of these cars. And I think once you've got three of anything, you become a collector. I did say to him, why another Viva? And he said, because he's got all them parts on that other one. It's obviously got some sort of mechanical issue. And he said, Rob, just look at this car it it's obviously really been garaged these are all original welds he said it has been hand painted under here at some point but he said look at all the panels it's not had any welding done and apart from some very minimal surface rust it's had no plates or no bog put in it anywhere it's a really really nice car the guy did come out and he's got the paperwork in there and it's got how many miles has it done 61 and what was the service history up to up to 58,000 it's got full voxel service history which was 1999 was the last time it was serviced and we have just had a little quick little quick look through it and you can see here it's had not such a nice plate welded in it I mean it's solid but Chris will make that a lot lot better and also we got the keys for it so we have unlocked the boot the chap that chris was dealing with didn't know exactly what was wrong with it but we looked at this as well 2002 so it's been in here for quite some time and the engine's there and then straight away i'll look down there and you can see uni part there's a new radiator hose there and then when you look at the radiator see all that rusty water i said to chris this has probably boiled up and he agreed with me but looking in here it's got a new fuel tank in it well obviously at some point and the floor it all looks really really good and solid and he's quite happy with how much he paid for it. Now, normally we'll wait to the end and do numbers, but we can't do that on this car because this is gonna be a winter project really, isn't it? So there's, there's not gonna be a video on it really soon, but I'm sure we'll get the engine in and do some repairs and I will it run on it eventually. But if there is any problems with the engine, as you know, outside, We've got the old parts car and we've done a will it run on this and we know that this has got a good nice strong engine in it so that engine can actually go in it this car is far too far gone to do anything with it is rotten as a pear i think we went down that road before with it it's it's very very gone and um it's probably housing some uh rodents at the moment so yeah we've got that engine if we need it but chris likes them and his dad liked them and he, he said i've got to have it 
let's get on to the price. Now they already asked one of their friends if they would like it. Their friend come round and looked at it and they offered them 500 pound for it as it was. And they rung Chris and it was a friend of his dad's son who rang up Chris and said, look, we're selling my dad's old car. Are you interested in it? And he said, I'll come and have a look. That's why he shot off. They told him that they'd been offered 500 and Chris instantly doubled it to a thousand pound and the bloke said, take it away, you own it. <laughs> and that's why he rung me to come and have a look at it. But let us know what you think in the comment section down below. Chris said, this is a solid, solid car. Again, you can see where it has been hand painted, but it's definitely been kept in a garage because this is in very nice nick for one of these. Fuel cap's missing, so we'll have to take the tank out and drain that down, I suppose. But let's go give you another little look inside. It's quite dark in here. Next time we'll um, we do it outside, but lovely, lovely old car. So before we shut the video down, guys, I do just want to say I've just watched it back and the comment Chris made about it being better than a Mark 1 Escort was tongue-in-cheek. But look at the smile on his face where he's got a new Viva. <laughs> <laughs> he's got three of these now well two and a half because that one outside's not much of a car but do you know what that's what the channel's all about weird and wonderful stuff we just we just roll with it you know we don't plan our day we don't plan anything sometimes before we go home we say oh, should we do that fit 500 tomorrow and i'll turn up with a coffee and we end up the other end of the country so <laughs> nothing really pans out and I like it, Chris likes it, and I know that you guys love it. I'm not going to go on about it too much. We want to know what you think of the HA Viva. So drop it in the comments section down below. And as usual, if there's a huge interest, when we'll put that up the priority ladder a little bit closer so that we can get some done on that. Again, excuse the state of me. I've been doing the... Oh, I'm not going to say, am I? Because that will ruin it. I've been finishing another little car off today. And that will be a video for later this week. If you haven't already, follow us on Instagram where we put little sneak peeks throughout the day, let you know what we are up to. Like, subscribe and share and we'll see you very, very soon for the next one.